I make traditionally constructed, handmade classical and flamenco guitars. There's something different in dealing with people who are in their profession because of their love for their work. So, and that's, I think, where the strength of artisanal approach is really shining because you gotta approach each piece of wood with nuance. You don't work with dimensions, you work with characteristics. The stiffness of the wood, the way it resonates, you know, the way it seems to transmit the sound, how much wood to leave in the right spots. I begin by gathering what a musician wants to see happen, and from there we can refine that vision. Uh, an average builder in their lifetime does somewhere around between two and four hundred guitars total. A few hundred hours invested into one instrument and all these little nuances that work their way into the guitar. You almost have to work on it intuitively. And I like the spirit in which they've been built. And musicians are very sensitive to that. For musicians it can often become something that they exist with and live with for decades. It's their dance partner. What is that guitar that has some soul? It's an intangible, and yet it's the quality that draws you in. It makes you, in a way, almost like fall in love with the sound and with the guitar. A good guitar is actually quite capable of changing a musician, because I feel like it's a partner. It's not just a voice to express their well-rehearsed pieces, and they're both collaborating together. It's something that draws them deeper with the sound that they're working with. So that's what I think every luthier hopes for. For me, as I say goodbye to the guitars and ship them out to the world, you just hope that they have a good life. <laughs>